Hi Year 2, Miss Slater here. Today I'm going to read you a story and at the end there's some questions we can look at together to see what you remember from the story. This is the book, it's called Giraffes Can't Dance. The author is Giles Andre and the illustrator is Guy Parker Reeves. You've got the blurb there, let's have a read of it. It says, Gerald was a tall giraffe, his neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather slim. Gerald would love to join in with the other animals at the jungle dance, but everyone knows that giraffes can't dance. Or can they? What do you think the book's going to be about? I think there's going to be a giraffe. I wonder whether he'll dance at the end of the story. Have a think what you think will happen. Before we start the story, let's have a look at today's target. It says... I can read along with a story and write sentences about the characters I have read about. The success criteria is what you will need to do to meet the target. Let's have a read of that. It says, Can I answer questions about what I have understood from the story? Can I write my own sentences based on the characters from the book? Can I read along with a story? Before I start the story, See if you could read along with me, or if you're feeling really confident, you could pause the audio and try and read it along yourself. Off we go. Gerald was a tall giraffe, whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really, really bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lion danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket. He'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal, who'd been there at the dance, 
arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find music that we love. What a lovely story. Gerald just needed to find some music and somebody to encourage him and he found his dancing feet after all. Have a think what your favourite part of the story is and I'm going to ask you again at the end. I'm now going to ask you some questions about the story we have just read. You might need to pause the video now and go and get some lined paper and a pencil from your home learning pack. Question 1. Write the sentences and then write true or false next to each one. So you need to write your sentence out on your lined piece of paper and then if you think what the sentence says happened in the story you can write the word true or if you think it didn't happen in the story you can write the word false. Number one says at the start of the story Gerald the giraffe was very good at dancing. Do you think it's true he was or false he wasn't? Pause the video now while she write it down. Number two, the lions performed a tango at the jungle dance. Is it true or is it false? Pause the video while she write it down. Number three, a cricket played the violin for Gerald when he danced. Is it true or is it false? And the last one, Gerald looked up at the sun at the end of the story. Pause the video whilst you write it down. Is it true or is it false? Let's have a check of your answers. Before we look at the answers, did you have capital letters at the start of your sentences and for Gerald's name? And did you have full stops at the end? Well done, I knew you would. Number one says, at the start of the story, Gerald the giraffe was very good at dancing. That one is false. At the start of the story, Gerald thought he was really bad at dancing, didn't he? Number two. The lions performed a tango at the jungle dance. That's true. The lions did perform a tango at the jungle dance. And a tango is a type of dance. You might have seen it on Strictly Come Dancing. Number three. A cricket played the violin for Gerald when he danced. That one's true. The cricket was the one that told him to listen to all of the branches swaying in the breeze, didn't he? And then he got his little violin out and played. And that's when Gerald realised that he was really good at dancing. And number five. Gerald looked up at the sun at the end of the story. That one's false. Gerald looked up at the moon at the end of the story. Well done, everyone. If you got them right, give yourself a little tick. Question number two. Choose the correct animal. Which animals performed at the jungle dance? You might need to pause the video whilst you write it down. Or you can always rewind it to have a look which animals danced if you can't remember. In blue you've got the warthogs, rhinos, lions, chimps and baboons. In orange you've got the zebras, the lions, the cheetahs, the tigers and the monkeys. And in purple you've got penguins, flamingos, owls, emus and goldfish. What set of animals performed at the jungle dance? Well done everybody. It was the warthogs who did a waltz, the rhinos which did a rock and roll, the lions who did a tango, the chimps who did a cha-cha and the baboons that did the Scottish reel. I knew you'd all remember. Give yourself a little tick if you got it right. Question three. I've got a word for you here, I've popped it in purple, it says resilient. What does resilient mean? Do you have any ideas? Well done, resilient means when you can bounce back from a difficult situation 
and find a different way to achieve what you wanted to do. Can you write a story, a sentence about when Gerald was resilient in the story? What couldn't Gerald do at the start? But he tried and he spoke to the cricket, he gave him some encouragement and he found a different way to do something. What did he find a different way to do? Have a think where he was resilient. You could also have a think and write it down when you pause the video about when you have been resilient. When have you done something that you found really, really hard but you haven't given up? You've tried to find a different way to do it. Let's have a look at what you wrote. Remember, I've popped resilient on new special word and it says... You don't give up when there is a difficult situation. You find a different way to achieve what you would like to do. I'd like to see all of you being resilient in your classrooms. Gerald was resilient as he couldn't dance at the start of the story, could he? He thought he was really, really bad. But with some different music and some encouragement from the cricket, Gerald danced beautifully at the end of the story. And he achieved what he wanted to do. He wanted to be able to dance. But he didn't give up at the start when he couldn't dance. He found a different way to do it instead. I think you are all really resilient. Doing all of your amazing work at home. Question 4. Write a sentence explaining what you would say to Gerald if you were his friend at the jungle dance. How would you encourage Gerald that he isn't a bad dancer? He just needs to try a different way. You could think that you were the cricket and you were trying to help him to dance. Pause the video whilst you write it down. I've said this is what I, my sentence would be. It's okay Gerald, please don't be sad. Not everybody is good at all activities. Maybe if you tried dancing to different music, you could be an amazing dancer. That's what I would say. Write it down in your home learning pack and I would love to see your ideas. Let's have a look at today's target again and see whether you have can tick off all of your success criteria. So, you have answered questions about what you have understood from the story. You have wrote your own sentences based on characters from the book. And you have read along with the story. If you've done all of those things, you could give yourself a green tick on your piece of paper because you have met today's target of reading along with a story and writing sentences about the characters you have read about. You could also draw your little smiley face at where it says self-assessment, a little smiley face at one of those three smiley faces on your work to have a think about how you found it. And what was your favourite part of the story? I think my favourite part of the story is when all of the animals come together at the end and all watch Gerald dancing and join in with him and all want to be his friend because he can dance and he didn't give up. That's my favourite part of the story. What was your favourite part of the story? I'm sure it was an amazing part. Don't forget to share your work with us in school. You can send it to the school WhatsApp. You can email it to your teachers. Or if you're out for your daily walk, you could pop it in the new post box. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I can't wait to see you soon.